the storm was uh, really an unusual event because it had so many things that uh, occurred at the same time. You had a nor'easter coming up the coast and it uh, stalled over the Cape and it actually had an eye. And that's what we saw as the sun came out on the, on the day after. And then it clouded over later on in the afternoon. But it was beautiful for photography. Everybody's out taking pictures of everything. But it also occurred at the time of a very, very astronomical high tide. And it, which was up, I think, in the realm of about uh, 12 feet on the bay side, 12 feet, something like that. But because it stalled, there was a storm surge that, you know, really elevated the water. And uh, the Graham Geis did a lot of testing of exactly how high the uh, tide was because it flooded Rock Harbor, it flooded uh, um, Wellfleet Harbor, and it was right up to the dock at Provincetown. And they figured in Provincetown that it was three feet over the normal high tide. In other words, if it was a 12-foot tide, which is very high anyhow, and it was three feet more than that, that was a surge. And just to prove it, when I came back uh, from taking pictures of everything in East Ham, <clears throat> I took a look at our cliff here. We live right in, a, I'm in an army barracks right on the cliff in East Ham. And... Uh, the waves, there were no waves. The water had come up and taken half of the cliff away. It was that far up the cliff. It, I mean, it just ate it out and then it dropped. But I just, I was just stunned because I looked down there and said, you know, it must have, it must have gone in, must have gone in a good 20 feet. Mm -hmm.